Alrighty, so today I'm going to try things a little bit differently. Uh, I was out here recently and um, I was trying to make this part of the bay work, uh, but the light, um, it just wasn't high enough in the sky to be able to come into this valley. So instead of trying to make this area work, I'm going to head over to the other side where the light's already hit, um, and then I can actually work my way back and then come through this side, um, and hopefully I'll be following the birds back because um, that seemed to be the way to go last time but as you all know it's quite an unpredictable game um, so who knows uh, but it seems like the best plan for this morning so let's give it a go and hopefully we can get a few more shots alrighty so we've just been uh, extremely lucky um, there's a cormorant just there on the edge of the bank um, and he's been extremely good I've uh, been able to get really close get some uh, 4k um, slow-mo footage um, but then also get some really nice reflective shots um, of him in the water so um, yeah I'm gonna probably leave him there but um, yeah he's been an absolute pleasure and I've been able to get really close without disturbing him um, and, um, and take some really nice shots so I'll show them to you right now I was actually out at this spot um, last week uh, and um, it's a really unique spot because you can actually see uh, Mount Aspiring which should be somewhere in through here but it's a bit cloudy today um, but as you can see there's a little kind of rocky area here in the water um, and I was able to photograph a cormorant in front of Mount Aspiring um, and I'll, I'll put those photos up now and it was an incredible experience because I love being able to photograph an animal but not just getting as close as possible but actually including the wild uh, the the surrounding and the environment to kind of create a, an environmental portrait like we do with people um, in their uh, in their environments and their workspaces and things like that so um, yeah really excited about that shot um, I was hoping it might fly away or, or spread its um, wings like it did earlier uh, it didn't and I didn't obviously want to spook it so I'm happy with the shot and something to to work on and good to know that this is here because uh, I think once that snow starts to hit uh, and we get some interesting conditions it could be a good place to, to come back to and um, shoot again. So as you can see that light is really starting to peek through the trees and this is what, exactly what we're after. Um, a little bit more um, light especially because um, you know this being a f8 at its maximum aperture um, it does need a little bit more light uh, to really uh, set it off. So we're going to try and find a location now uh, set up. I've got my uh, my my stool there, my little twenty dollar Mac pack stool. Um, so if we need to sit there, sit down, wait it out, and, um, and get those birds to come in, well, you know we can do that comfortably. So let's try and find a location and uh, get set up. Righty, so I've um, just um, snuck off the the main path, um, and uh, like I said, I've got my um, my stool with me. Um, so I've just kind of found this um, spot that's in the shadows, um, kind of between two trees. Um, so it's kind of like a semi-blind, um, although they can see me front on. Um, and then I've just set the, uh, the 150-600, the XH2S, on a, a small tripod. Um, I'm looking at new uh, fluid heads uh, for this. This is just a, a cheap bull head, um, not the best uh, solution for wildlife, but it does the job. Um, but we just um, had a few um, small birds kind of fly into this tree just there in the distance. And um, so we're just kind of like aiming just kind of up here and they just keep kind of flying in, touching this kind of branch and then flying away. So um, yeah, hoping, uh, hoping they come back soon um, and we can um, yeah, try and get a few more shots uh, and some video footage. Um, so, um, yeah, just uh, the waiting game now, the exciting part. Through the settings that I'm using on the X-H2S, because uh, I know a lot of you would be uh, interested to know, um, yeah, if it's, you know, um, all that for wildlife, but also kind of how I'm setting it up. Um, so starting off with video, we've got it doing the high speed rec record, so uh, 4K 120p, so five times slow motion. Um, as you can see, uh, we've got it on bird uh, subject detection, uh, f8 which is the um, widest aperture because it's still quite dark um, and uh, maximum iso so it's auto iso but maxing out at 3200 i don't want it to go 
too much higher than that. Um, I'm quite comfortable that that's um, going to give it significant sensitivity to, to get the shot. So that's video. Uh, let's flick it over the stills and see what we've got going on there. So we've got it in full manual mode. Uh, we've got it at um, shutter speed at um, one eight hundredth of a second uh, because they're landing on the tree. I'm getting them um, landing. I'm not looking at um, trying to get them as they're flying through the air. Um, again, maxing out at um, 3200 um, ISO uh, at f8 and subject detection there as well. Here, here they come now. Alrighty team, look, thank you so much again for watching today. Um, it was great to get out with the 150 to 600 uh, and the XH2S and just focus on uh, some wildlife photography uh, with the XH2 taking a landscape photo at the end. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping uh, you're enjoying some of this uh, wildlife uh, for a change. It's something I've been in, interested in for a number of years um, and used to do quite a lot of about six years ago uh, with my previous system. So um, we'll be doing a lot more of it. It's starting to get a lot colder here. Uh, the snow's starting to hit some of the mountains. Uh, so hopefully in the next month or two, we'll get some sub-zero days um, and then we can you know, really get some, some beautiful atmosphere in some of these wildlife shots. Um, and target some uh, some different types of photos. Uh, so th again, thank you so much. If you did enjoy it, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.